Oh, hey, pup. Come on up. Yeah, come on. Come on, pup. Oh, hello, 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 beautiful. Where's your baby? To me, it's just another walk in the park. But Luke and I see the world differently. He looks up expectantly for me to open the door. And that's the last thing he needs me for because once we're in the park, everything's shifted. I see blades of grass, he smells particles lifted. A slight breeze and new recipes have been gifted to Luca's nose. First we walk off the grass where he moves pretty fast, no distractions of nature to cross in our path. But the very moment he realizes that, I feel my arm jolt as we've stopped in our traps. There's smells over there, Max. We need to go back. There's some of a rabbit a wolf has attacked, and if you don't pull me away like that, imagine the taste that we could extract. Luca, it smells completely unbearable. No, don't eat. What is that, a meat hairball? You're gonna feel just completely terrible and throw up wherever you're physically able. Max, are you crazy? There's so much here to love. Look, just try the bottom half of this dead dove. Don't be afraid of later throwing up. It's just what happens when we experience too much. If it's not coming out, you're not eating enough. I turn my head for a moment and he's chewing on something. But I smile as I watch his jaws readjusting without the slightest idea of what's in his mouth rustling. His eyes meet mine with a look less than trusting. It's okay, Luca, I'm not gonna take it away. You can have your garbage treat today. I've got a weakness for that face. I don't know what to say. Max, stop everything. There's a dog. You see this dog? It's a dog. It's okay, Luca. No need to freak out. Freak out, Max? What are you talking about? This is one of my kind. A fellow canine. I need to see what happens when his eyes meet mine to feel the result when our souls collide. You just not try to attack him, okay? He's so much bigger than you anyway, and I never know if you want to fight, fuck, or play. Max, there's such a thin line between fight, fuck, and play. You humans pretend that they're miles away. Let's just smell wherever he smells the most and we'll be on our way. Good boy. We make our way home. He curls up next to me. Turns into a ball with his head by my knee. If I rest my head here, Max, I know you won't leave. And I can go to sleep content and happy. At the end of the day, I just want you to see that nothing matters more to me than family. <laughs>